Today we're going to show you how to change the drain pump on your dishwasher and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a small flat blade screwdriver, and maybe an adjustable wrench. Let me show you how we do it. Now to change the drain pump motor on this dishwasher, we will need to pull the dishwasher out of the cabinets. So we're first of all going to have to disconnect the power to the dishwasher. So locate the fuse panel or breaker panel and turn off the power at that point. We're also going to have to turn off the inlet water supply and disconnect it from the fill valve to the dishwasher and that is located in behind the access panel on the bottom. We'll also have to disconnect the drain hose extension at that point as well. So we'll start by taking our quarter inch nut driver and we'll remove the two screws at the front and remove that access panel so that we can disconnect the water supply and the electrical supply. Now with the dishwasher on its side our next step will be to disconnect the wire harness to the drain pump motor. And there's a little locking tab on the top there that we'll have to pull back and then lift up the harness and disconnect it. And next we'll have to remove the clamp that holds the drain hose to the pump body. We don't need to take the drain hose off, just the clamp. So with our pliers we'll depress that clamp and just pull it down out of the way. Now there's a little locking tab at the back side of this motor that engages onto the housing, a little tab on the housing. So we're going to depress that little locking tab and then we're going to rotate that motor counterclockwise about 90 degrees. And that's the locking tab that I was speaking about. Once we've rotated it 90 degrees, we can lift it completely out of the main pump housing and discard the old motor. And we'll take our new one and it's a good idea to lubricate that O-ring that is around the perimeter and make sure that the inner surface of the pump body is clean and free of any crud or debris. And we're going to set that on top of the housing with the motor facing towards the front of the dishwasher. press it firmly down into the opening and then we're going to rotate it clockwise and it will engage the hooks around there and the little locking tab will snap into position once it's fully turned the 90 degrees. Now next we will reinstall the clamp And then that's the wire harness. And then the new pump motor has rotated that connection 90 degrees. There's lots of length in the wire leads, so it will fit nicely. Simply line it up, snap it into position. The wires will point towards the center of the motor, and the locking tab should engage. Now we're ready to stand the dishwasher back up and reconnect it. And we've replaced the access panel, so we're now ready to turn the water supply back on and the electricity back on and our repair is complete.